Hey there, Shuby Doodlers, how are you doing? Well, today is May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. It's Star Wars Day. And uh, here in the little town where I live, um, it's quite a special day because just down the road, about a mile away from where I live, they filmed the forest scenes in the very latest Star Wars movie. So today I'm going to show you how to draw a TIE fighter, but let's not talk about it. Let's do it. <laughs> So to draw a TIE fighter, I'm assuming it's coming in this direction here. So I'll start about there and draw a line. And this is the top of the kind of wing on the that faces you. And then we want to come down at an angle. And then we're going to come down at an angle again, like that. And now that line needs to be kind of parallel here. So we'll join that up there. In the middle, we're going to want a um, an ellipse shape, not a circle. And then we need these kind of little inline things here. Don't let them join up. And then we're aiming at a point in the middle there. And we'll bring that down there and then that will curve around there. And again, we're doing this so that's coming straight across to the middle, straight across to the middle. This will be coming down here, so this wants to sort of continue over on the other side like that. And then also this wants to kind of continue over there. So it's that one is going to be aiming over there. That one wants to be <laughs> coming up there like that. And this will be there. Whoops. <laughs> and then that's going to be there. And then that will come around. Good. Now we need to draw the cockpit, which is a, basically a ball, but it's hiding behind this wing. So you need to draw a circle like that. And the window is another circle with a slightly squished circle. It's going to be there. And to draw the panes of glass, we need to draw a circle in the middle like that. And then two lines going up there. You want to have two lines there, two lines there, two lines down. And then we need little lines coming there, each side. And then we can make those into little window panes. Now there's a kind of a curve on the top, which is sort of the lid. There's some kind of markings and things on there. There are various markings. Uh, we kind of got gun things there. And this line needs to come through the middle and then we're going to have kind of a tube. So we want another circle here, which is kind of like a squish circle like this one, an ellipse. And then we need to copy this, but place it behind. So this is going to start round about there, I think, like that. And that will go up. So this line is parallel with that. And then we need to go across and down again and down and down and across like that and then we need to do all this business again and then we draw down to the middle and round now in each of these kind of triangles we go down from the middle to the middle and then draw lots of parallel lines either side and these are kind of solar panels or something i'm not sure the, exactly what they're meant to be but that's the pattern on there and then we have various little kind of markings on there too now I'm going to zoom in a bit on this and I'm going to paint the whole thing. This is in watercolour and I'm just going to paint it all in a very pale grey. Except I might leave a little bit of white in the top of the cockpit part there as well. This is a Winsor Newton colour called Neutral Tint, which I use an awful lot. So I'm making this slightly darker this time. So it's all just one colour, this Neutral Tint grey. And everyone always wants to know about the brush I'm using, which is a, a Pentel Aquash brush it's got the water in the handle so it's, it's a watercolor brush but you kind of use it in a slightly different way to a normal brush but it's very quick and simple and easy now to give a little bit of 3d-ness to this i'm just putting a little bit of paint in there and i'm cleaning the brush and then i'm just kind of fading that in around there you get very harsh shadows in space so i'm going to put a little bit there and a little bit there um and this is kind of the, the shadow of the cockpit falling on that wing. All we need to do now is get a little bit of red paint and we go pew and pew. <laughs> Put some laser beams in and there you go. How to draw a TIE fighter. And <laughs> may the fourth be with you. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you want to draw more Star Wars and space stuff, click here for my Star Wars and space playlist and see all the videos that I've done. Click here for the mystery drawing. Oh, and click up here to make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel for lots more drawing videos every week. Uh, keep coming back. And in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.